White sun, pristine beaches, coconut trees, hot sun, clear light, hundreds of colors, wooden canoes, cottages on the sea. No, I don't pretend to sell your trip to Samoan Island. I'm only trying to introduce you the most well-known ethnography of Margaret Mead, coming of age in Samoa. Margaret Mead, supported by the prestigious anthropologist Franz Boas, decide, with just 23 years old, going to this little island situated in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to investigate about the adolescence, the sexuality, and especially the woman role in a typical Samoan society. This struck out the study had a goal, the comparison between both coming of age, the Samoan and the American one. But why? Samoa described the aim of her research. I have tried to answer the question which sent me to Samoa. Are the disturbances which vex our adolescence due to nature of adolescence itself or to the civilization? Under different conditions, those adolescents present a different picture. Coming of age in Samoa, then, is a psychological study of primitive youth of Western civilization. Margaret Mead spent nine months in the main island with some different girls, in total 68, to understand the way they lived. The anthropologist shared their lifestyle and during her stage, she could prepare an economical and political study too. I suppose that it's necessary to have a wide perspective of a particular civilization which is so different to the one we are used to. So, I think it's essential to know all the fields which involve the girls that were being studied. Meet wrote her project in 1928 and she concluded that the passage from childhood to adulthood in Samoa was a smooth transition and not marked by the emotional or psychological distress, anxiety or confusion seen in the United States. So, it's a key text in the nature versus nurture debate, as well as issues relating to family, adolescence, gender, social norms and attitudes. <laughs>